My select play select viewers, welcome to another episode of Play Select. My name is Gold Mountain, and in this episode, the console wars are imminent, so we're gonna give you some news about it and which side to take. Well, not really, it's your choice, but here we go. So you may have heard about this magical device called the internets and on this internets there was the announcement of a few consoles, most recently the Xbox One. Now the Xbox One, I watched the conference last night and you know these are my personal highlights. First the possibility of a dog mode FPS, this is really fun, I always wanted to play with four legs running around sniffing butts. The second one is that there were three women at the conference, which was really, really cool. Xbox is about to become the next water cooler. And then the last one is that we actually heard about a Halo TV show. Now the Halo TV show, sadly, think about this. A few years ago, actually, the Halo movie was supposed to be directed by Neil Blomkamp, who brought us a great sci-fi movie called District 9. But now, instead, it's Steven Spielberg, and you know, his last sci-fi entry was Crystal Skull, Indiana Jones. So anyways, that being said, Xbox pretty much has the bro dude market covered, but E3 probably gonna show us a lot more things. And uh, the thing is I really wanna talk about, which really kind of disappointed me, was that there was no announcement about the Luma Room. Now this is something, as a gamer, I could really get my hands into. It's pretty much augmented reality in a way that 3D could never ever do. What it is, it is a projector that you put on your coffee table and it pretty much shows, well, this is what happens. It captures your room with a Kinect camera and it pretty much just has the scan of it. And when it has a scan, it can actually do effects with light. So for example, if you're shooting a game in FPS, right? You're shooting bullets, some magical powerful bullet, it actually shows distortions in the room, which is really immersive. But it's not even that. Things can creep out of the screen, fall into it. So if you think about the applications of this, perhaps in survival horror, or even like the ring, can you imagine Sadoko just climbing out of your screen? That would be really, really creepy. Or even racing games when you're driving, so you go under a tunnel pass, the lighting would actually go like this and you see the lights and it'd just be really, really fun. So hopefully they're gonna see this at E3 or at least I will see this at E3 because this is something that would actually make me want to get this machine. So moving on to the next thing, Nintendo will be at E3, but it will be at Best Buy, actually all across America and Canada. Over 100 Best Buys, Nintendo will actually be showing games that will be out five months later. And these are big titles such as the new Mario Kart, Mario, another Mario, and a Smash Brothers game. Anyhow, long story short, we're gonna try and check out Best Buy when we're in LA. And not to be outdone by Microsoft and Sony showing off their brand new consoles at E3, also as well as Nintendo showing their brand new games at Best Buy, Ouya will be showing their games and console at a nearby parking lot. Now to quote them, they said, we'll be sharing our games with the public and not just pass holders. I wonder if they validate parking. Now with all the attention that the Xbox One has been getting post-reveal, you kind of thought we may have forgotten about the PS4? No man, seriously, hours before the reveal of the Xbox, you know Sony put up a video showing teaser of what the PlayStation 4 might look like. Now think about this guys, I want to ask you, do you think this time around the console war is going to be really really bitter? I mean probably like a Super Nintendo Genesis time? Just let me know because this thing's getting really heavy right now. Now with all this, we haven't even spoken about the PS Vita, another great system that you can actually play right now and even share games with your friends, but hey, whatever. Anyways, this is an exclusive coming out in 2014 and it was recently revealed that this game, which used to be called Panopticon, is now called Freedom Wars. Now if you've seen the trailer for it, you're gonna be just like me. I'm really blown away because one, I really like anime, two, I love the prospect of having online co-op with competitive modes and this is exactly what this game has and this game's gonna use GPS functions of the Vita as as well as the near function. So this, how it's gonna connect, I don't know, but the fact that there's eight player co-op, this is a really good way to spend time with friends. And friends is what you're gonna need because, let me set the stage. Now the remnants of humanity are living in cities called panopticons and pretty much humanity's population is just decimated. And at the same time, resources and the environment is way beyond the stage of sustainability. To make things worse, in order to control the population, everybody is now deemed as criminals and you actually have to fight your way for freedom. And the only way to fight for freedom is if you fight these giant ass creatures called abductors and that does not make life easier. What will make your life easier is the customizable Android ally that will follow you as well as that awesome thorn grappling hook in which your eight players will probably use to grab a monster and pull them down and slay them. Now that being said, Freedom Wars is coming out 2014 for the Vita and this might convince me to probably finally buy a Vita because this looks damn good. Okay, enough about the hype, the future, conjecture, whatever, that can just go away because right now I really want to talk about the present 
And don't forget the games that are actually really coming out for the Xbox 360 and the PS3, which are great consoles, and also these games you can share with friends without having to pay a pass. Anyways, here we go. Now the demo is out for Xbox Live and PSN right now. It's been out for a while and if you haven't tried it out yet, I highly recommend you do. Now the name of the game is Fuse by Insomniac Games, the same guys who made Resistance, Fall of Man and all those wonderful games of Spyro and Ratchet and Clank. Anyways, this game looks dope. It's everything that Gears of War Judgment wasn't because although I love Judgment, this game has Horde mode. Yeah, and four player co-op. Split screen as well. Awesome! Coming out May 28th US and also May 31st in Europe. So, this is what you want to get. Fuse. Don't be confused. Next up, a really original game published by Capcom. Now, if you want the mnemonic manipulation experience of Blade Runner and Cyberpunk and all that cool stuff of kicking people in the face while being a really cool girl that you've never seen before, then Remember Me is the game for you. Now, this is coming out June 4th for Xbox and PS3. And I'm really looking forward to this because there are some dope games coming out this month. Third on the list is a game you might know coming out June 14th exclusively for the PS3 is The Last of Us. Now, I'm still looking forward to this even though I purchased God of War Ascension just for the demo which never really happened and said it was just some kind of countdown timer, but that's okay because this game looks really good. We've been waiting so long to play this. I just wish they didn't give it to some Kanto pop star. I don't even know who they are. But anyways. And number four, standing for Shin Megami Tensei 4. Wow, this is gonna be really cool. 10 years in the making, a 3DS exclusive. This is the first original Shin Megami Tensei game in a long time, guys. I mean, the website is finally up for US, just came out in Japan, getting rave reviews all across Femitsu, and it's coming out on July 16th. Definitely mature rating for Mara. Now, if you know who Mara is, uh, I'm not even gonna make the, the graphic put up there, that's just crazy. But it's fully voiced, and it's all your favorite devil summoning, devil collecting, dungeon crawling action. Now, the underdog of it all, and a game we've been waiting to see since we saw it at TGS, Lost Planet 3 by Capcom again. Now, it's been delayed a few times, moved for business reasons, i.e. Dead Space 3, but you know what? I don't care. This game actually looks really fun. Arn and I are looking really forward to playing this um, because if you're looking for some mech customization, some Ice Planet survival horror in a way, and also shooting aliens in their glowing extremities because that's always fun, well, hey, Lost Planet 3 is for you. And the last game that you really might look forward to, well, it's coming out this summer near August, and the name is Killer Is Dead. You know what? Don't know much about this game, I'll be very honest from what we've seen on the internet, and I'm sure you guys have been checking it out. It looks absolutely mental, super fun, super Suda51 style. This guy, I really love him. Yes, we are indeed Suda51 fanboys, and Grasshopper Studios, we want more. Have you ever tried Liberation Maiden? Pretty good. Time to announce the winner of last week's prize. Time. Elyasa won. You just won yourself a copy of Injustice, Gods Among Us, for telling me that Batman spat on the Joker in the Tunnel of Love. Oh, those guys should really get together. It's just, they just were meant to be. Anyways, congratulations. Have fun throwing bacon at each other on that stage. <laughs> it's that moment you've been waiting for. Prize, Prize time. Time. Your favorite moment of the week where I give you free stuff. Now, prize time works like this. Very, very simple. I give you a question, you give me an answer, and if you get it right, I'm gonna give you some swag. Now, ground rules. If you know the answer to my question, please put it in the inbox, not the comments. The inbox, not the comments. And also, please specify whether or not you want this game for the Xbox 360 or the PS3. Now, one thing I gotta say, though, please don't be that guy who puts the answer in the comments, because if you do, guess what? We're gonna ban you from prize time for the next three months from this episode onwards. Yes, haha. <laughs> you like that now moving on this is the question which game console is aspiring to be this object so there you have it a really easy question this time around because this is a very good game I want you guys to try it out because I'm having a lot of fun with it. So to wrap things up, my name is Gold Mountain. This has been another episode of Play Select. Of course, this is Mr. Lau. And final words, remember kids, time is the fire in which we all burn. <laughs> Whatever, man. Dark Souls 2, Dragon's Crown. Peace outside. Subscribe.